of like sense that there are a lot of cards and it's gonna be like programmed to do it at a certain time too. And it's just gonna move. Okay. So you have motion sensors. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then how will how will you decide uh, the length of the divider that has to shift? It's gonna be one lane. One freeway lane. One lane, what if you could have two lanes? Then the, because usually most of the freeways right now, like the 680 or 880, they aren't five lane freeways, they're like four or three. So if you just move one lane, then it gives, you don't want to make a traffic jam on both sides, trying to release one side. So one side of the freeway is going to have five lanes and the other will have four. So where will the space for the extra lane come from? The other side of the freeway. Where you're taking the lane from. So they're just moving oh. the divider. Okay. How much does this cost? Um, we searched up how much cement costs to make up for one block, and that's like two dollars. And then the copper wire that's. That was the whole block thing. It was. It was like a box. <laughs> so how would this be automated? You would have to make the make a motor for that and. Yeah. So what is the product, like what is your product doing to move the lanes? Do you have, like what will it, yeah, is it a motor that moves, mm -hmm. shifts the cement block? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know if there's anything out there like that? There is one. They don't use it on the highways that actually need this, which actually have commuting traffic on them, and they use it on five lane freeways. Um, but what they have is a truck that moves very slow and it does the work, but it's not really needed because they don't